guys, Jerome here from the SG Football Podcast. Uh, we're coming with our third episode already. And uh, since, of course, we got word that the Singapore Premier League season might be starting on October the 10th, we didn't want to, you know, take a player away from their preparations and bring in fans instead to talk about more about the local league and their experience as well. So I got two very special guests. First one, of course, is the main man of Match Day SG, and that is Mr. Dill. What's up? <laughs> Uh, it's a pleasure to be here, man. Like, I'm happy that uh, this, the season's about to start, and it's been a while since I, I had any uh, interaction with local football, so I'm looking forward to this conversation. Yeah, like, okay, and then of course, I think you probably would have seen him based on the spinning of the camera, but uh, <laughs> probably for me, for me, he's one of the funniest guys in Singapore right now and probably of all time. Uh, it's a great pleasure to have, a, have him here. And it, have her course, here. Have <laughs> Wow. Already gone already. And you carry course. out the result. <laughs> and that of course is Jarvis, man. Jarvis, great to see thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for having me. I cannot wait for the league to start because uh, single pools are bro. <laughs> I need to get back on my game. And honestly, I prefer to bet on local games. <laughs> More unpredictability. More unpredictability and even if I'm lazy, I know it's frowned upon but it gets my ass moving nice. to go and watch the game. And yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's what we need. La. And also, the chances of getting AOS is higher. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> true. You'll never know with the like, results right yeah, now. Yeah. That's the thing. Okay, so the main reason why we have two fans on is because we want to talk more about the SPL finally starting after the whole COVID uh, situation has finally gone down. And thanks to our Singapore government and everybody for getting it back on track. Frontline so, workers. Frontline yes, workers. the frontline workers as well. We really appreciate them as well. Nurses, doctors, and everybody at the front lines helping out and keeping the COVID cases down as well especially. First of all, I think we want to start with um, local football and how the fascination started. Um, Dil, maybe we start with you. How how did your love for local football come into play? Mm, um, so, well, I always had, uh, I was always aware of the S-League national team games and uh, going down to national team games, but I would say my love affair with local football started with Lions 12, to be honest. Mm. Uh, we, we went to I went for Lions to all games, loved the atmosphere. Uh, Exclusive singer used to be back, quite big back then. Mm. They were damn fun to go there. They would sing their hearts out. And they're like good guys, are basically. Mm. And then I said, okay, you know what? If this is so much fun, mm. I'm going to go down to the S-League. Yeah. And uh, I, I live in Bukit Panjang, so the closest thing to go to was Warriors. Mm. And bro, the, 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 <laughs> the, the, the difference in class <laughs> was quite big. And that's when I went, you know what, like, this needs me more than EPL or mm. even maybe Lions 12. Yeah. So I went, okay, I'm going to go down a bit more. I'm going to start going to matches more often. And that's when I became a regular S-League fan. Mm. So it also helped that Warriors was winning back then. And yeah. we were, <laughs> we were uh, they call me a glory hunter, but we, we were... We were one of the biggest clubs in Singapore back that then. Was under Alex Weaver, was it? Alex Weaver, 2014. Alex Weaver, yeah. That was that was a good year. We mm. really won. That was yeah. And honestly, this is what I say to anyone who's interested about local football: go down to a few matches, sit down with people like us who go mm. regularly. Trust me, you will go back again because mm. it yeah. is it is addictive. Mm. You will the, you have the sense of uh, belonging, belonging yeah, which right, you don't yeah. have. If you are sitting at home watching on TV, yeah, exactly. so that's how I got started with S League and local football. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Then, Jarvis, for you because I, I see you go to national games as well. Mm. I see all the videos you're screaming your head off, and the thing is like, <laughs> shit off, the, shit yeah, off. Exactly. <laughs> and the thing is right in the time that I met you, like we, I I know we've known each other for a mm. while, but you know this is the first time that we really reconnected after a while, and like. I've seen your videos, you're exactly the same in person as you are yeah, you know, on the camera, which is fantastic. La. So tell me more about your local football experience. Okay, mine is I'm blessed to have uh, grown up with friends, uh, especially in secondary school. My classmates are very, very big fans, football fans mm. in general. I mean, they watch EPL and everything, but they are generally football fans. Mm. means they criticise the players, criticise the managers and analyse the games and everything. And they love local football. Mm. Like for me, it started out from national games. Yeah. Like going to watch Singapore, and it was the old Kalang Stadium with the mm. the stone seats. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like, that was amazing. Like uh, uh, I remember Tiger Cup days, and I was probably twelve or thirteen. And then uh, thirteen, and it's my transition from a gangster face to a normal face. <laughs> so I was there with the red color mohawk, yeah. with, uh, wearing my tapered jeans and. Those checkered t-shirts, yeah. and from there I transitioned until now, like, and I'm, I'm still going for games. But 
my love for local football it grew because of my friends because mm. we have conversations about the local players yeah. we analyze local matches and then we have stat as in we 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 just talk a lot about local football and then when we see a local football player outside we get star struck yeah like like meeting durich was a uh, was a very big thing for me yeah but you know people who watch epl when they meet probably let's say uh, alex ferguson or uh, gunner or the the ole on the yeah, fucking yeah. wheel on my fuck yeah but uh yeah for them it it's like a dream come true yeah. for me meeting durich was a very big thing like dream come true because you know he's like the oldest striker can say in the world mm-hmm. and pro, uh, playing professional football so it means a lot to me lah yeah. and then if, i'm the, i'm not the only one going crazy mm-hmm. like my group of friends they were go mad hey, durich 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 and we were very young yeah. so yeah lah so i grew up with this love and going down to matches is where you will actually see that it is this is where the pledge actually matters regardless yeah. of race language or religion mm-hmm. nobody gives a shit for where you are, where you come from your lifestyle your whatever you do outside the stadium right you when you walk into a stadium everything is left there mm-hmm. nobody cares yeah. about anything mm-hmm. because we are all there for one simple goal one objective is to watch our countrymen do their thing and probably walk out with victory yeah, mm-hmm. yeah so that's that's the thing that got me going mm-hmm. because it doesn't happen we can't like we sit together we watch EPL games mm-hmm. but that's the most you can do yeah yeah those people that you see screaming on the television for them that is everything mm-hmm. for us that this isn't everything mm-hmm. when we're in the stadium that is everything yeah correct because these guys need us to be there mm. this english football they don't need you to be there yeah, because they already, yeah. yeah they have everything in the world mm. i mean yeah we're talking millions mm. yeah so yeah that's that's i think that's the fire for me that's the fire what got me more uh, getting deeper like going to s league and like lion strive i followed them to uh bukit jali stadium in kl oh, where we won the nice. malaysia cup Uh, nice. 3-1 one wow, that was yeah. amazing that was wow, yeah. okay. that was that was, bro. Yeah. That was <laughs> mad and then we <laughs> like we met we meet uh, together then we queue up for the bus we all have coaches all going together we came back only the next morning mm. oh, yeah. i don't know how it That's happened right. but it, nobody was complaining mm-hmm. not not only because we won but like we went there as a family you know then mm. the experience the stadium was packed it was tens of thousands of people and they were screaming they were singing and chanting mm. is those like kind of epl games yeah. it was just like that mm. it was just like that and for me it's like we have what they have in the country beside us yeah. why we need to go to like, you know to mm. uk to experience that but mm. what wow, it was amazing and yeah. at the point in time i think um we are, we went against pera pera right yeah. uh that the final yeah don't fall the i pera yeah it was pera yeah pera yeah, yeah, pera. yeah, yeah, yeah. i remember uh, pera was having some natural disasters so, and singapore know. was uh giving them uh, support okay. yeah we were aiding them so i don't know if, if you heard about what happened in terengganu mm-hmm. when we won singapore uh, lions show won terengganu the fans had to stay inside mm-hmm. for about 6 hours they couldn't go because the the fans were going uh, terengganu fans were going mad they breaking the glass and everything okay. outside So the Lions Trail fans uh, had to stay inside, couldn't move. But in Pera, after the finals, even after we won, they were very accommodating. They yeah. were very nice to us because they know that we just helped them. Mm. Like it was very, very friendly. It was, oh, yeah. it was very professional. Like nobody was fearing for their lives and everything. But yeah, that's football. Lah. I mean, mm. I think that's the closest to EPL that I can ever have as a fan of my own home boys. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm a Chelsea fan, but when I watch Chelsea play and Chelsea win. it will never give me this feeling that yeah. i receive in right, right. malaysia when we won mm. yeah so, so so i think one thing i want to add to yeah. this is that what javis touches a very important point when you're at home screaming at a tv mm. that guy can't hear you yeah. you're not making a difference mm. i mean as much as uh, javis is a chelsea fan i'm a united fan we have our jerseys we'll put them on but we just don't make the impact we do in a stadium screaming mm. and 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 he was talking about the 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 crowds in malaysia screaming right mm. um, i didn't get to travel for the final i was in singapore watching it live on tv and i remember you could actually hear the singapore mm. fans singing mm. yes, imagine really, you yeah. had 11 players on the field that day right yeah. these people have traveled like was it like a crazy amount they had yeah. like 50 buses or something that mm. went up there screaming for you that that effect you can't you can't replicate that in front of a tv mm. watching it and it, it's it's a different level and only way you can 
experience it is calm down. Yeah. Calm I, I down. Think, <coughs> yeah. I think that's true because like when we go down to local games and stuff like that, you know, you feel you actually feel like especially if you go to games with Gelang, Haogang, you know, you have the Hools, you have the Gelang Ultras as well, you're yeah. screaming and shouting, you can really feel it. But I, I don't think the Singapore broadcast system really does it justice because you can't it, like You can't actually hear, yeah, yeah. And sometimes you don't it doesn't do them justice. But then there are points of time where Duncan, like when he's commentating, will actually bring up the fact that they are there, which is actually amazing. So mm. these guys are making a difference. And, and uh, yeah, but what you said, the players can really feel it on the pitch. Like yeah, our, yeah, definitely. Like we had our interview with Anders as well. He was telling us about the Geelang Ultras and how they were able to actually bring them up. You know, you can hear them screaming, and then Norali will tell them, you know, if they're still screaming and shouting, there's no reason why you should, you guys shouldn't be fighting to get the win. And then bam, that, that was the whole thing. The the one that got me very emotional was uh when. Singapore played. <coughs> what's that? What's that? The 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 Palestine. Oh, we won. Okay, yeah. We won that won. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember we were making a lot of noise, and then we were waiting for the, the final whistle because it was two one, right? Mm. Yeah, and it was a very very strong game, and Palestine was a very very strong team, mm. but we were winning, so we just had to just tahan all the way to win. And I remember the next day, Irfan Fandi messaged me on Instagram mm. saying that I I I felt your presence, so thank you so much for your support. Wow. And. Didier Drogba won't message with that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, Lampard won't say thank you for watching on your fucking television. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, Irfan Fandi, he messaged me and then I I got very emotional. Yeah. yeah. So that one, that's after I got known on Instagram yeah. as a cockfluencer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not he, going to say influencer. It's a cockfluencer, yes. <laughs> Does that does that need to be bleeped out? <laughs> well, uh, well, that's okay. Cock is a chicken. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so, that, so, yeah was, what? So remember that match? Remember the end. The 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 full time whistle mm, went, mm. and uh, singer brigade, which I'm part of as mm. well, uh, we we started singing the national anthem. Not recorded. No instruments. Nothing. It's just us singing. The entire stadium. The entire stadium. Yeah. Mm. And like. Bro, like literally, hairs yes, were, right. yeah, yeah. And, and you're not gonna really, you're not gonna get that. Yeah, <laughs> watching Chelsea or United yeah. or yeah. whatever. But but yeah. you might get that watching Liverpool play. Like. I mean, yeah. I mean, <laughs> they, I mean, they yeah, they have their own we're chance. All rivals, we're yeah. all rival fans, but I think we all have to admit, like Liverpool fans, something else, like. Yeah, they like, they are. The no, but you still don't get it when you're you, in the, in Singapore. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. And, yeah, that's the thing. and those eleven players are there. They are mm. responding to you. They are standing attention. They are singing along with you. Yeah. It, I, I don't think I can get that out of my brain. Mm. Like, I'll be six, like eight years old in my dead bed, still remembering yeah. how that made me feel. And I don't know how many other people will have that opportunity. Yeah. yeah. When I was in secondary school, I will say the pledge very proudly. I'll mm. sing the national anthem very proud. But nowadays, I don't. I don't national day in secondary school. Yeah, all this. But now I don't. Feel proud, like I'm. I'm. I am a Singaporean. I love my country because I don't have anything else to love. Like mm-hmm. this is my country. This is where I'm born. Yeah. But in the stadium, when I sing the national anthem, it's the play. It, it just reminds me why I love my country. Mm. And I think honestly, we don't have much. We don't have. We don't have proper systems everywhere. We have. Uh, there are a lot of loopholes everywhere, mm. and. But the only thing that I feel that we have is football, mm. because yeah. it has been our strength for decades, from Fundy times even before Fundy, it has like Singapore was feared. That our league was one of the best. We were going into cups in Malaysia cups, and we were winning their cups. Yeah. And Malaysia was like they hated us mm. because we kept winning, and then we we did it again with Lions Trophy. So, for me, football is all that we have. Yeah. And football is a game that is known in Singapore. It's it's. It's like you know Australia. Theirs is the rugby or touch football or something. Mm. Yeah. So for us, it's football. Yeah. So if we can't even, it's like our national sport. Mm. If we can't even preserve that 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 art, mm. so what do we really have? Yeah. Mm. Exactly. And I think yeah, that's that's a very good point because I think football is such a big sport and it's so well renowned. Why aren't we bringing the same amount of enthusiasm that we have for international football, like for EPL? Why can't we bring more to local games? I think I I stand as one example as well. I think we spoke about it in one of our podcasts mm-hmm. last time about my story when it came to 
Um, the first game that I saw after a long time in Singapore was the Home United and Geylang game. Uh, I brought the Copper 90 guys here mm. to, to film with us. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. But, a shameless plug. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we I brought these guys down. They were down here from like the UK. Then they were like wondering what local football is about. Then you have this idiot right here talking about, oh, I love Arsenal and stupid shit like that. And then... Um, I, then I, we went together to an S League game, which was uh, Home United and uh, Geylang. And then um, the host, Eli, was like, you know, he saw the Geylang Ultras there. And then he was like, hey, let's go down and like, you know, talk to them in a little bit and, and see what they're all about. And then that was when I really started to get to see a real side of local football that I, that I missed out. That I missed out not going to the stadiums. I think that's, that was a very important point that Dil, you brought up. It's go, about going to the stadiums and meeting people like you, meeting people like Jarvis, meeting people like me now. You know, um, and maybe Stanley and JB from the the Ultras Eagles, the Hao Gang Hools as well. You know, you meet people like them, then you really have that sense of why people love this sport so much in Singapore and why people still go out to these local games. I just mm. feel that, you know, if a person like me who was so heavily into Arsenal, like into EPL football and stuff like that, if I can actually change the mentality and actually give local football a chance, why can't another person who is in my situation can do that. I know it's easy for me to say that, or oh, you need to go down to local games. Mm. Come, watch me. I can drag you along. Mm. But, I mean, just give it a chance. I yeah, think yeah definitely. I think, yeah. I think also something, maybe this is a point of self-reflection for us who are fans, right? Mm. Uh, we do meet these people who, uh, who maybe don't give enough thought into uh, people who are not as engaged as us with the local football league, right? We assume that they are irrationally... Uh, what's, what's the word for it? That they have irrational hatred of the local football league. Mm. But what I've realised over the years is it's not that. It's like they're a bit jaded about the local football yeah. scene. Mm. Doesn't mean they hate it. Doesn't mean they don't like it. Mm. Means that they, it's not what it used to be. And that is a fair point we need to... To, to admit that and um, I always used to say it's a bit like you know you're broken up with your girlfriend but you still kind of like her so you stalk her on Instagram you follow the score you, you follow all the football scores you you go to one of these people who say I only watch EPL right mm. and then you tell them about uh, oh yeah yeah you tell them that you like local football and they go like oh yeah yeah Tampines is doing quite well huh? mm. and that's when you go I, I thought you only watch local <laughs> yeah. English football right exactly. and we need to a appreciate the fact that if you are a person who grew up in the 90s in Singapore watching that football league, if you go in now and you expect that, you're going to be in for a bit of a shock. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But what is also true is that part of the reason the 90s were the 90s is because the fans were in the stadium. Yeah. So it's a bit of a chicken and egg problem. And unless you go down to the stadium and make a difference, start making the difference, you can't expect things to change magically overnight, right? right? Yeah. So, I mean, two sides of the same coin. Yeah. So, I think we, you brought up a very good point mm. in which, you know, people have to go down to the stadiums, but Jarvis, in your opinion, how as someone who is able to draw a huge following to yourself, what do you think um, maybe the Singapore government or who, like Singapore's footballing body has to do to bring these people down? Um, one thing is, we need more money. Mm. We need to market the league properly. We need to show the good side of football, not just the sponsors, not just uh, what, like, we just need to show that this sport isn't dead and we, there are people like us going down to show the fans going crazy, the Haugang Hools going mad, the Geylang Ultras, all these guys who are there, uh, just show them having fun. Mm. That's what I like to do. When I, go, when I go down to a match, the reason why I take a lot of videos at the match more than the match itself, I'm thinking of me and my boys having fun. Mm. So to show people like, I mean local football is frowned upon because mm. it's not as big as EPL. But Singapore is also fucking small. Right? Yeah. Also not as big as UK. Right? Mm. Your, your cock also very small. Right? <laughs> not as big as mine. Right? <laughs> but we still have it, right? It's still there for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, so, so you have to do it, lah. Yeah, that's so, why I think that's the so, thing. It's all about marketing. So, yeah, so it's marketing. It's it's the way you promote the mm. event. You promote the league. The the you have if you can say that Ronaldo is the best player in the world, and then he's there walking down the red carpet. You glorify him, right? Mm. We can do it for our local boys also, ah. Yeah. 
I mean, they are also our superstars. They are. That's the thing, yeah. yeah. And yeah, lah. For me, it's just marketing focus. We just need a lot of focus mm. on um, making our own league look good. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a very big thing. Uh, I I'm I'm gonna start a petition. By the way, uh, change dot dot org. Mm. Go and make Jarvis. Commentate every game for the national team. <laughs> <laughs> I I pay to see that. Yeah, I pay to see that. No, <laughs> wow, Indian fella running. They run, they run now. Wow, ball down. Put one beer. Can you now? The fella run. <laughs> What do you think that the league uh, needs? So I think I think the main thing is more. I think more coverage. That's why that's why people like me and Dil do what we do because we want the league to get. As much coverage as it deserves, because we feel that you know, yes, the FAS does quite a bit to stream these online games. Like they, they stream like even NFL games, like for Singapore Kalsa Association. <laughs> they feel they they stream the games live on my Kuju last time as well. Um, then there was a lot of there's like these things like online, but nobody advertises these things online. There's nothing on that Facebook that says. Oh, we are streaming the NFL game League One, NFL Two, and stuff like that. And then, the biggest thing is that you know when we go to the stadiums and that I like both of us maybe we are updating our our Facebooks and stuff like that. People will still ask us, you know, where do I find the streams for this game? Mm. Where do I find this or that? And I just feel that it should be done. It should be already ingrained into like mm. the governing body to have these things. Um, readily available, like whether it's on Facebook, whether it's on uh, Instagram and stuff like that. I I think they do try. I I do see posts, but I don't think that it's being b- boosted enough. You know, because if only people like me are seeing it or the diehard fans are seeing it, other people aren't seeing it. So I think a, a better focus on on like promoting is good. Uh, Especially for I think lower leagues as well. Mm. I think that's I mean yes. Um, for SPL they're doing fine. Like not say. Are you fan- sure they're doing fine? <laughs> not fantastically well, mm. but um, I just feel like for NFL and for NFL two island wide leagues, I I don't think they're being put out as well. Even the women's football as well. Like we we covered it as well, you know. And like for us at the podcast, we have photographers like Chego Chego Tamrin. Shout out to you, who actually goes mm. down to these games and actually photographs for them and then sends it to the teams, like the women's teams as well. Which yeah. I think more focus should be dealt with that. And I think. I know I'm rambling on about this lah, but one very good thing was when we like my man behind the camera, Daras would would attest to this when we went for the um, South Avenue CSA, no, uh, put the name here, <laughs> the CSC, the CSC South Avenue, the what do you call it, the kit launch and everything mm-hmm. else. We're speaking to Amir, one of the strikers, and he was telling us, you know, um, thanks for you know covering our games and like you know having photos for us to like. See the games and stuff like that, and I think that really brought a smile to both our faces that day because we know that what we're doing is making a difference, and I feel that maybe more people hired by FAS to do these kinds of things, I think, will be much better, and then we can put more smiles on the the NFL two, NFL ones, the island wide as well as the women's football as well. I think it'll be fantastic for them. If there is a page or a platform mm. where For example, I'm someone who is not um, familiar with local football. Mm. I know EPL and everything. I watch football, but mm. if I'm not someone familiar and I want to be familiar, mm. what page do you think that you can tell the viewers to visit? Like probably Instagram or Facebook or anything. Just that one that covers what you need to know. I think Lions of SG, Lions of Lions SG. Of, Lions of yeah, SG. wow. Well, I mean, a lot of a lot of different stuff mm. that they. They literally go like when they see an alert from every single like you know whether it's overseas like the Singapore players whether it's here, whether it's you know anything to do with local football at all, they will post it up. They will mm. consistently post and, it. And, and I think that's and fantastic. Good, good graphics. Correct. It's not, exactly. it's not like hey, this happened. It's like that's what we do, right? Mm, we just post yeah. on, on, Correct, on Facebook. Yeah. So it's relevant guys, information. And mm. they put the effort to make it look nice Correct. and pleasant, uh, presentable. So. Mm. I would yeah, b- yeah. big shout out so to, do, to those guys team. and the other one is mm. uh, SG Footy memes when you want to go uh, have a laugh okay because yes. it's a it's a it's fun <laughs> to read the two of them together you get your information here mm. you laugh here laugh mm. here yeah and and of course listen to SG Football podcast. <sighs> nice.
<laughs> do you think that you be inclined to start a probably like a weekly newsletter? Mm. Like uh I know it's a lot of work, yeah. but I don't know, it's just at the top of my head you can yeah. um it's those kind like you have people who subscribe to it. Yeah. And you have to pay to subscribe definitely. Mm. But you give them their money's worth. Yeah. With all the relevant information of that week's mm. games. And it's like EPL, it's mm. like soccer net. Yeah. Uh, every week is different. Mm. But I visit soccer net all yeah. the time to get my information on EPL. Mm. So what if you have something like that yeah. for local football? Because right now Instagram yes. Mm. But I don't have a soccer net for local website, football. Yeah. yeah. We I think we like uh Aaron initially did start up that with us as well but then there came to a point in time when nothing was being updated at all for a certain point in time because I for me it felt like Instagram was the easier way because where I'm working a full-time job as well so it's difficult for me to like run a website but that's the thing now as we are going through everything else the more I think about it the more that I tell myself that actually you have the time it's just that it's whether you're able to put in the time that's why now we're doing things like this we if we can that's why the the idea what if i tell you what if i tell you like to as in it definitely take a lot of time and effort and mm. it's a lot of sacrifices to make it happen yeah. i don't have the only thing that i can help to support is i can make sure that i can get a crowd funding mm. i can open up the idea to people and let them know that we want to start this mm. for local football and we we would need someone to be consistent mm. and that fellow is not going to do it for free mm. even if he's he wants to i don't think it yeah so i just let them know that this fellow is not going to do it for free even if he's going to do it for free i would i wouldn't allow that because yeah. it's a lot of time and effort and sacrifices but i can use my platform mm. i can use my followers to let them know that this is going to happen mm. and we i really want this to happen yeah. and i'm opening up this page for funding mm-hmm. all this money 100% will go to your salary for your time and uh, maintaining the maintenance of the page mm. so if i'm going to uh, propose to you the idea would you ke- are you would you be keen on starting our page for me definitely if that if there is a way for us to actually do that with crowdfunding and some of that i think that's something that we can really work upon and and really do something about it uh because right now basically what we do here right now is all is it free? free like basically we are not getting paid yeah, yeah we're not getting paid for this we are not we are just here because we love local football and we want to do something mm. but of course you see places die because you know yes we do it for a certain amount of time but places die because at the end of the day suddenly you know the money runs out and then we we can't possibly find a viable way of working on it but if we can open up a platform like that i think like maybe a monthly kind of thing maybe we can we can work out something and then we can we can move on from there you know i I'll, i'll give you a very uniquely singapore problem mm. uh, so we can do all this uh and i think this is something that really might work you know like if you have mm. a dedicated website uh and i know aaron tried and yeah. I, i've i saw the mock ups of his website mm. that was amazing like it it had like um player ratings yes. uh, uh, everything so why did it, it not work it didn't work cuz the effort to update it cuz trust me oh, in singapore yeah. you don't get your data in like one place there's Correct. no uh, even fas doesn't have a, a, a centralized database mm. where you can just go and see how many minutes a player played in a game so initially there was because so like every game there's always the there's always the match commissioner and everything mm. they have all the stats and everything yeah. actually but um Sometimes the data takes a long time to get to us as well. Right. Uh I I mean I don't know where it stops, you know, like you know initially like sometimes we'll get the data very quickly, sometimes we get the data very long mm. and then sometimes it just doesn't come and then we can't update the website as efficiently as yeah. we can. I can see your balls resting on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> you can get that. Why <laughs> <laughs> are you looking at that? Now think it what is that sticking out? <laughs> <laughs> you get that? You tell me you got that? Jesus! Fuck! <laughs> okay. Alright. Oh, Jesus! Okay. Whenever you oh. get it. <laughs> so if you realize that there's going to be a lot of cutting, it's because you know honestly with with this much of comedy gold here, of course it's gonna it's gonna stop. <laughs> 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 they're definitely going to have to pause it quite a lot. Though there's a lot of editing into this, but um, 
honestly, again, fantastic to have you guys here. Cause uh, for you, Dil, I mean, we've, we've known each other for a while. You know, ever since I stepped into the fo local football scene, you know, you've always been one that I could talk to to you know get insight and, and to speak to in terms of this. For for you, your videos online just make me laugh and like you know I think that's the thing about comedy. It brings us all together and like. It's, yeah. it's a great thing and football is going to bring us together now so right now what's the hope like Jarvis we start with you for that what's your hope about Singapore football now okay I, I we because of COVID right there are a lot of things that we have to consider one thing we already don't have people going down to matches mm. but now people can't go down to matches yeah. so everything is just going to be based on broadcast yeah. so like me doing what I can to promote local football by going down to matches, taking videos, now I only can let them know that it's going to be broadcasted uh, like this time slot, this day. Yeah. It's a very, very good thing that they shifted from Fridays to weekends. Yeah, yeah I think that's a, that's an amazing jump. I love that because it used to be Friday 7.30. Yeah. I mean, wow, come on lah, brains where? Yeah. I mean, by the time you go and travel to the stadium, everything. Yeah. So the weekend thing was a very smart move. Yeah. So now weekends, I think, the best thing that we all can do is to let people know that this league exists mm. and we just do what you guys you do what you always do mm. let, let people know let the crowd know that this game is on saturday yes 10 30 pm got your epl 7 pm got local yeah. league i mean you got enough time you can start drinking at seven don't need to start drinking at 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah then um like we we'll just let them know that they can start drinking at 7 p.m. because the match is 7:30. Don't need to start at 10 or 9 for the 10 p.m. game. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I think the most important thing. Okay, now we all know that social media is the strongest tool. Yeah. It's stronger than weapons. So we just have to make use of what we have. We know that so uh, local football hasn't got the presence that we want it to have. Yeah. We know that people prefer EPL over local football. Mm. We know that we are doing our best. And we know that social media is the strongest tool. Yeah. So knowing all this, if we put our knowledge together, if we get enough people with the passion and the fire that, and just put them together, put, come, come together, then we do our part. Yeah. Means you guys, you are good at writing. Mm. You are good at writing. So you do your writing. I'm good at marketing. I'm good at just talking. Cock. I'm just good at putting things out there. Mm. So I do my part. And then we get everyone to do our own part. Ultimately, we will achieve what we set out to achieve. Mm. And I think we just, like we have people like us everywhere, but we don't have the platform to, or we don't, we, we just need to get together. Yeah. Yeah. We just need to get together and lay it out there, put our objectives out there and everyone's got their own part to play. Mm. And if everyone, it's like football, striker, you don't expect a fucking striker to defend. Yeah. You don't expect a goalkeeper to be playing in front. So it's like, as long as everyone is doing their own jobs, mm -hmm. ultimately the final product will be perfect. Yeah. So we just need to... I, I think something something that, like, what draws your example is another thing that I, I've seen, like, you know, in music, like, you know, I know you're yeah. in the music scene as well. There's this website, Unite Asia, where yeah. they get... Um, shout out to Unite Asia, by the way. Great, great website and uh, a lot of good podcasts as well uh, that they're doing as well. Yeah. And they, they really support a lot of local bands. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. I think that's uh, a good website that we need to... to take a look at and you know see how like him like it's one person Riz who's doing like yeah. all the collating of all the articles and actually doing his podcast and stuff like that so I think a platform like that you know for local football here whether that can work and I think communities can come together you know um, like for us we are bringing out as much of local football as possible so we can also bring in local esports teams shout out to like people like Yase for FTRD uh, esports <coughs> as well uh, I'm doing a lot of shout outs. Actually. Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> a lot of shout -outs. I never shout out so much. Sh shout out my my man also, my music also. Uh, oh, unknown radicals, yes. Yeah, okay, yeah, the intro music for the <laughs> <school episodes. laughs> But yeah, so I think a, a good thing is that we can incorporate a lot of different elements, not only um, local football, we can incorporate local esports, local music. Like everything can come together and we can make it a platform not only about um, local football, but basically Singapore in general. I, I don't think you can really find something that really does that. And I think if we can pull together to do something like that, I think that'll be fantastic also, you know. But a another thing, like for me as a EPL fan coming into local football, how do you think we can draw more people like myself to like... Yeah, that's, that's what I said. It's just social media is the tool. Mm. If people, is someone is scrolling down 
and they see football and he, he's the person is a football fan yeah. he will stop scrolling to see what is this all about mm. and instead of stopping for EPL i want them to stop for local football yeah. mm. so we yeah so ultimately it's just pushing out content pushing out information mm. to let them know that this league is is yeah this yeah. league exists and it's it's still got the fire and mm. yeah it's just happening and for that is people on the ground lah yeah. photographers videographers mm. all these like uh putting up highlights i think that's one very very strong because as a football fan you will love to see highlights yeah. regardless of who is playing mm-hmm. you just love to see highlights because you know the goal is going to happen yeah. yeah so you just like to watch highlights mm-hmm. so i think highlights very very strong mm-hmm. and uh, yeah like it's just very very small things that we can do but mm-hmm. takes up a lot of effort and time especially mm-hmm. to make it consistent that's the key consistent mm-hmm. is always key yeah. consistency is always key yeah, yeah but uh yeah like that's Social media lah bro, social media is fucking strong man. Mm. And and it doesn't cost a lot of money. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the thing as well. I, think. I mean, yeah, your your TV rights deals used to cost a million. Mm. You want to stream it free on Facebook? It doesn't cost you that much. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. Yeah. To boost it, probably about twenty dollars, thirty dollars. I mean, no, if you're talking about next level, like professional uh, boosting, right? You want to spend thousand dollars, want to reach hundred thousand, a million people? Yeah. Uh, you can't do that with like. You can't do that with the new paper writing an article on yeah. you, and which gets stuck in a corner. Mm-hmm. That's that's not reporting on local football. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> that's mm-hmm. yeah. So so I uh, agree with Jarvis. We have the opportunity. We have the resources. It it's a matter of do we have the 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 will to go out and do it, and do uh, people out there who are not the authority like people like us who say. We want to make a difference. Are we willing to step up and say, "I am the striker. I'm the writer. I'm the, uh, I'm the next Jarvis. You want to do this, right?" <laughs> and 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 you know, step up. I think the future is there for us to go to go grab. Mm. It's a question of are we ready to go do it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, 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 that's the thing. But I think you all got a fire, yeah. and you. I'm sure you all got friends who got the fire. Yeah. And these guys got fire. Yeah. So yeah, you just got to come together and we've we've had a lot of shout outs. So shout out to the two guys behind the camera. <laughs> Dil, we want to talk more about Match Day SG and what what you do for the local football ecosystem because it's something that I really admire because you go down to games as well. You you speak to your the you're a fans fan. In I don't know whether it makes sense, <laughs> but it does where you you speak to all the fans and everything and you get very good opinions from everybody and you're able to I'll keep it unfiltered. So how did Match Day SG start for you? Yeah. You're Sorry, not a sucker. Right. Yeah. That one. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm blushing a bit. Lah. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll so we'll we'll find out later. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, I mean, man, Match Day is. I mean, Match Day in its current form right now is a uh, is is two different things put together. So, uh, Match Day SG, as you see in Facebook, started with me. Uh, we, my my point was, look, there's enough media out there. I was I was wrong. I thought there was enough media out there, and that I'm going to use the media to get people to come down. So it was it was solving a personal problem of mine that I was interested in local football, but I didn't have enough friends who were right. So the idea was I'm going to meet people people who might be interested in going down, but don't have someone, hmm. and I will go down together with them, yeah. and it actually kind of worked. Uh, we got like a group of thirty people, like about twenty five yeah. thirty people now. Who are in a WhatsApp group? Who are people I met in stadiums who have come down, and some of these guys have become very good friends, mm. uh, and a beauty of local football. Yeah. Uh, and then the other side of it was uh, Amshar's Amshar Hanif. Mm. Um, shout out to Amshar who just became a dad, by the way. Oh, Amshar, who's that? Who's Amshar? Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, I know him from the metal scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he, yeah, played, he played bass that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember. He's, he's a three years. Yeah, he yeah. plays in a punk band. Yeah. Used to, yeah. 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 Got a guy, Amshar. Wow, he's becoming big guy. Yeah, he just became a. Hey, wow, <laughs> Papa Amshar, I'll teach how to drink beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So, okay. so he had, he had um, his channel called AHFC, mm. and we met at a stadium, and we started. We're gonna, we're gonna have a. You all remember Nokia football crazy? Yes, with JBU. So we had a yeah, correct with the uh, Independents. Shake high class, damn fun, right? We had a we had Jimmy a great <laughs> <Jimmy laughs> <Jimmy laughs> Shout out to Jimmy. 
<laughs> so we had a we had a Nokia football crazy inspired show called Football La back in the day. Mm. Uh, and so we we kind of decided, hey, like let's just join forces la. and then we became match day SG you see today. Mm. Uh, we <clears throat> we we are at a bit of a crossroads right now. Mm. Uh, we don't know where we will go in the future because there are a lot of people who are out there who have come on to the scene now who honestly do a better job than we do. Mm. <laughs> like a podcast, you guys are there, wow. Lions of Asia, um, you want to read stuff, go to Cyan Tang, uh, you want to laugh, go Who's to Asia. Who's Cyan? Cyan. Cyan? 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 I don't know about that. It's a a Cyan, I know, is the about us, the colour. Cyan. Colour, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ta- and Cyan. Tang. Cyan sus. Yeah, Cyan is not sus. <laughs> Cyan is a friend. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, yeah, so they they were, uh, so these guys do a very good job. So Cyan writes. He writes, mm. and he has a lot of very interesting points of view. And yeah. it's not it's opinion pieces, by the way. It's not news. Uh, for news, there's lions of Asia. So we are we are wondering where we are right now. So we are trialing something, and this is something I want to reach out to you guys for. Um, we want to start a football academy in Bukit Panjang and we are looking for dads or people in Bukit Panjang who might be interested in joining us. Uh, Bukit, for mums. B- Bukit Panjang, m- mums as well. Huh? No, no, no. Like actually, <laughs> anyone, <laughs> uh, anyone wants to come. You don't need a coaching. You don't even need to know how to play football because we have secured the funds to send you on a coaching program uh, with FAS. And they will go and become coaches for us, and they'll you will come back. And the idea is you will, you will, you will teach football in your neighborhoods to the kids mm. in the neighborhoods. So it's from the community for the community, mm. and uh, we're hoping that we will at- attract the mums and whoever the dads who can cook, bring down your fula every yes. Sunday morning, a, a ritual so that yeah. we can Build teach community. the kids football. And uh, so reach out to us. Uh, I think match day Chief will be tagged in this somewhere. Yeah. So just Definitely. just go message us, or if you see me on the social media, message me as well. Mm. Uh, I can drop you in. And the idea is that how Sembawang used to be back in the day, uh-huh. how Jurong used to be back in the day, where mm. you know, like it used to be known as powerhouses of uh, oh, local oh, football. Yeah. You know, like all the famous guys like Sundrum, Sundrum. Yes. everyone they came from Sembawang, yeah. and Jurong had its own little like click of people who are from Jurong but proud to be from Jurong. Mm-hmm. You want to create a future in which Bukit Panjang gets known as the 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 a powerhouse Home of local ground. football. Uh-huh. And why Bukit Panjang? Because I, I live there. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, yeah, that's just where much day is. Jeez, that nice. Nice. Yeah. I, I think it's good that you're building, I think the need to build a sense of community, I think is one thing. Okay, uh, now, okay, we talked about match day. Jarvis, for you, um, I, I've known you for quite a while. I think this is the first time that we've You know me before I started doing my Instagram shit. Yeah, yeah, that was even before then, like when we used, like in the music scene mm. previously, when you were doing with Lights Out. Mm. We actually um, got my old band for a show previously with like Tambi K Xiao, old yeah. bands. Wow, that was a long time ago. Very, very good times. And when we used to meet up, you know, we'd have drinking sessions and stuff like that. Um, you can have that, no worries. But uh, like, I remember you were always one of the funniest guys in the group and everything, and I always thought. Um, one of the fun- who's the other funniest? <laughs> Okay, the, the funniest, the funniest, uh, the man, he was definitely the funniest guy out there and really one of the people that I really love to drink with as well. Uh, then after that, when I had my own work and everything that we didn't really talk for a while, then I saw you posting up your stuff on Instagram and like, it was generally the same things as what we used to see like even before then, mm. but now it's finally on a bigger stage and you are at, at a place now where it's fantastic, like you're posting videos up and it's actually you behind it. Like the conversations we've had, like, you know, meeting up at the front, like at the front door and everything, you're exactly the same person in front of the screen as you are behind the screen. And, um, you know, uh, how did the whole idea of making videos come about for you? No, there was no idea. It just happened. It just I just happened. I just did a video. Uh, the taxi. It was 14th of May, 2019, the I taxi. remember. No, no, no. The, oh. taxi. No, the taxi one was, I was just drunk. <laughs> then the motherfucker don't want to stop for me. So I just angry. I was literally, I was, I haven't started doing videos then. Yeah. I was literally angry. I said, I'm a nice guy. Stop for me. He just went past. So I was like, scolding, fucking Mara, Chibai. Then behind got one police car patrolling. 
But they didn't care because if they can, I fuck them lah. I just, just want to take a taxi home. Hello, and the guy green is free. Yeah. And they, the people who watch, they say there's double yellow line. What the, you know, you cannot cross the double. Yeah. I'm standing at the edge. <laughs> it becomes a single. No, there's no single line. The broken line, the motherfucker can stop. Yeah. But he doesn't stop. So I'm very angry. Right? But that went viral on its own. Yeah. But I wasn't. I never had the idea to do videos. It was only on 14th of May where I did. I just took a video saying, um, "Hey everybody, I hope you are having a very good day." <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Because I'm having a very good day. If you're not having a very good day, that's your fucking problem. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> and then that's where the fire started. Yeah. And then the, my my colleagues laugh. I was going to office. My colleagues laugh. Then hey, this is very funny. So next day, for 15th of May, I just thought of a quote. Mm. Then you say, "Life is." Uh, wait, 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 shit! Suddenly, I lost my train of thought. Life is what's that phrase? Ah, uh, fuck! I can't even remember, remember my own <laughs> quote. Life is not precious. Life is what is it? Something about present. No, no. Ah. Life is short. Life oh, is short. Yes. 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 So is your kunji. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> so that was my first quote. And then when I go to office, then my colleagues say, "Why well, yesterday you do this? Today you do this? Why well, just very funny? Do one more. Why not you do it on a weekly basis?" Mm. Then I laugh. Fuck lah, too much commitment lah. Nah, nah, nah. Then I went deeper into the commitment. I did it on a daily basis. Mm. I did quote of the day every day for five months without stopping. Yeah, we saw. Yeah, we followed. That, no yeah. breaks, nothing. <laughs> five months until I had to take a break because I went overseas for two weeks and mm. I didn't want to. Uh, do it there lah. Yeah. As in, I just I I left. I just didn't. I I wanted a break from social media because from nothing, then suddenly I'm somebody. Then the jump was very drastic, and mm. I became very very known very very fast. Mm. And I was just trying to get used to it. Yeah. So it it was 14th of May, 2019, where all this shit started, and then yeah lah. Then like people like you, like my friends who have known me for a long time. Whatever you see on the screen. You know that's me. I'm yeah. not trying to be like someone else. That's not my persona. That's me. Yeah. Yeah. So, like a lot of my friends, they didn't really get shocked. They were yeah. like, Javis being Javis. <laughs> but new people are like, wow. This guy mental. This guy crazy. Wow. This guy. But you see me naked on stage performing. Yeah. For you, you know what's mental. Yeah. And I know what's mental. So if they think this is mental, then hello, you're in for the treat. <laughs> <laughs> So that's that's another point. The music wise, uh, you've been in the music scene for quite a while, for yeah, a man. long time, man. Ever since Zaganoth and everything from like way back, and now you're at Mucus Mortuary yeah. with uh, Jai as well on drums. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, um, what's what's next for you guys? I know you've just celebrated five years. Yeah, five years. October thirty first, Halloween will be five years. Nice. Yeah. Uh, we have already recorded all the songs. We're just waiting for a good time mm. to release because honestly, I want to do a release show. And I'm just hoping that this COVID thing will end, and it will be nice to have a release show. I don't yeah. want to release and then have not have a show because Mucus is a it's a band of theatrics. Yeah, it's very visually inspiring, and visually just nice to watch. Yeah, so it's not a band. I mean, it 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 is a band where we play funny music, stupid music, but also good music. But mm. what amplifies everything is the fact. That we perform it in a way where nobody else would dare to perform. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's why I'm just waiting for a good time to do it lah, where people can actually come down and watch. If not, I'm thinking of doing a live stream. Nice. And you know, for us, we'll we'll definitely be there as lovers yeah. of music. As yeah. Well. Every yeah. music will definitely be be there to support you as well lah. I think that's the main thing. You'll never see a man wearing adult diapers yeah. <laughs> screaming into a mic with stockings on his head. Yes. <laughs> If you it, it it's the pictures on his Instagram. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> go 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 see. I, I know. I saw the picture of Sean staring at him and staring. Yeah. At him. <laughs> That's a bit too close, Sean. <laughs> But yeah. Um, oh, we all know Sean, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Sean, yeah. Sean, the Hong Kong heavy, yes. heavy, heavy metal football. Sean uh-huh. Mogam. Wow, I have a lot of respect for him. I know yeah. he went to England and he was bringing his Hong Kong scarf. Everywhere, yeah. every stadium. He went to about twenty-five stadiums or something, or thirty mm. plus. I don't know. Yeah, we saw follow his journey in England. Yeah. He met Grant Holt, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He he met Grant. Grant. I and think in Scotland at that point of time. I think. Yes, and oh. shout out to him because when we started off, he was the first person to come down, give us a chance with match day. Mm. He didn't know me. Randomly came up and said. I think I like what you're doing. I'll have a beer with you. Mm. Basically, he'll have a beer with anyone. <laughs> yeah, as long as he's a good guy. Yeah, that's the thing. I think him as well. 
we connected through social media after the whole Copper 90 thing happened. Then I saw a heavy metal football. Then like, this guy like familiar. Yeah. Then I remember me and Chong were actually in primary school together. Wow. Like all those years ago. Then like now he's doing the, he was doing the whole local football thing as well, you know, with Haogang and everything. And I thought that was something that I really wanted to, to hop on into and, and really embrace. And I think hopefully I've done that lah. I, I, in the last two years, honestly, has been a wonderful journey, you know, meeting people like Dil, meeting people like Jarvis again after so long and uh, meeting people like Amsha and Stanley and everybody. I, I'm gonna, just going to like ramble out names. So if I forget you, I'm sorry, but honestly, there's... Credit, credit scroll. Credit, credit <laughs> roll. Credit scroll, credit scroll all the way. <laughs> but honestly, I have a lot of people to thank for bringing me on this local football journey because it's been enlightening uh, uh, and it's been great. Bigger shout out to Aaron uh. Aaron, wherever you are, la, visit me like, long time ever you already. <laughs> Basket, but yeah. I'm very confident you're going to watch, right? Yeah, I, I it's hope. It's his channel, <laughs> bro. <laughs> He's the one that started it. Okay. okay. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think this is the perfect time to end this where we ask uh, our guests, what's your hope for local football in the next maybe five years? Dil, maybe we start with you. Uh, mine's very simple. I think I hope for local football to become a routine in the Singapore psyche where you, it becomes something you do every, yeah. every Saturday, every Sunday or whatever it is. It's just something you go through. It just becomes part of your life. Mm. Of, I, I'm not asking for a lot. 20% uh, of the Singaporeans out here. Yeah. That'll, be, that'll be good enough. That'll be good enough. Yeah. <laughs> that'll be good enough. I, I think just some people to like bring on family, like what we saw in the 90s mm. as well. Yeah. Something, something fun, something Singaporean, mm. something for us. Nice. Uh, Jarvis, what about you, man? I think... Um, it's like if all I'm asking is not 100% of the attention, but if they can show 100% of passion and love for a club that doesn't need you, all I'm asking is for, for 50% mm. of that attention, of that love. Not, let's not say love, love grows over time. Mm. Attention. Yeah. Like why not? It's still a sport. It's still football. We don't have different rules. It's the same fucking rule. So why not just have... 50%, just give it a chance. Yeah. So five yeah. years from now, I would, one, I would love to see a half-packed stadium minimal mm. every time we go down to a Premier League game. Mm. Singapore, well, Premier League. So <laughs> so the so S-League game. Mm. S-League has that touch to it. Yeah. Like, that, 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 that fucking love. Mm. Yeah. Uh, just half-packed. Yeah. But uh, before COVID, I was, as in, I was going down, I see, like, I was, I was watching Tampines games. It was nice. Mm. It was almost packed. Yeah. And then I watched Geelang games was quite okay. Then I watched Tampines game in Jurong East Stadium. Mm. Because they were based there for a while. Yeah. While uh, the, the new stadium was building. And they had buses bringing fans over. Geelang, oh, yeah. Geelang has buses bringing fans over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was nice. But uh, it was not... You know, I, okay, like, I was contented. Because there was noise, there was people shouting. and mm. Yeah, it was, it was very nice. Very, very nice. But... We still lacked something. Yeah. Yeah. There's always something lacking. So I just wish five years from now we will have atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. Atmosphere. Nice. Um. I think for me, in terms of hope for local football, I think same thing as what these two mentioned. Give it a chance. Mm -hmm. I think what we want is for a bigger community of people. You know, going down to games. You know, if you want, I think never be scared to find out more about local football. I think you have people like me, people like Dill, people like. Daras and Ruben behind the camera, um, the Yellow Knights from Tampines, Geelang Ultras, the Haogang Hools, they'll be more than happy to, you know, have someone new join them and have someone, you know, join them for the festivities, join them for the shouting and everything else. Um, the, the Tanjong Paga Boys as well, the Boys of Sterling Road. I mean, there's so, there's like a few groups out there as well, you know, that will be more than happy to bring in new people to... Um, to help them, you know, bring out the name of local football because these guys are passionate and I believe with passion, passion is infectious, mm -hmm. you know, the passion from you, the passion of passion from you as well, you know, it's really infecting all of us, you know, to promote lo more local football content because we know that there is, there's a lot of people, there's people out there who crave this kind of uh, opportunities and to crave this kind of content. So I believe as long as there's one person who wants local football content, I believe all of us will be there to, to provide that for them. Yep. Um, and I think that's the last thought for today. Um, once again, I got to thank um, Dill and Jarvis as well for joining us today on the couch. My pleasure. Mm, not casting couch, couch. It looks a bit like the casting couch, right? No, 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 no it's not. No, Dad, I'm sorry, but yeah. yeah. What's this stain, bro? <laughs>
<laughs> oh good god we're doing this in my household never mind but yeah i i gotta thank these two for joining me as well uh because this like we wanted to finally get fans together as well to talk more about local football and i, I believe you know bringing them down here has really added a different dimension to the the topics that we talk about um and i like to thank them i also like to thank uh, everybody who watches the videos as well we will be having more giveaways and everything else you know coming up in the future and once the S League season hopefully opens or when the time this video release hopefully the first game would have already come by if you can you know contact either one of us you know the three of us you know we're always open and available if you want to go for local football matches you know we'll be more than happy to bring you down we'll get you in touch with the fans that, that matter and the fans that are really always there for their team no matter what um, anyway enough rambling this has been Jerome from uh, SG Football Podcast thank you so much for watching and uh, thanks to our guests again thank you so much for watching guys support local football because if we don't support then who? Well, what Jarvis said <laughs> 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 Alright, so thank you guys and uh, if anything, just contact any one of us and we'll be available for any local football matches. Um, we will leave the descriptions and everything and uh, and what whatever that is, you know, at the bottom here, at the screen here. So if anything, just uh, drop them a message. Lah. And uh, thank you. Ciao, motherfuckers. <laughs> I <laughs> 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 Whatever Javi said. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever Javi said. <laughs>